particular. But there's just two issues I want to flag here. Your Lord says in the course of this hearing, we'll have to determine what does a constituent assembly stand for. A constituent assembly stands for enacting a constitution for the future of the territories with respect to which the constitution is to apply. It's essentially a political exercise. It's not a legal exercise. It's a political exercise to take into account the aspirations of people, what kind of state the people want, and in the context of that, draft the constitution. Right. The constitution itself is a political document. But it takes into account the aspirations of several segments of society living within a united territory. It takes into account their separate aspirations. And in the context of that, drafts a constitution to meet the aspirations in future years for decades to come. So the exercise of a constituent assembly is a political exercise. The drafting of the constitution, which is a political document, is a political exercise. But once the constitution is drafted, once it is come into place, then all institutions under the constitution are governed by the constitution. And those institutions are limited, are limited in the exercise of their powers because they have to exercise their powers consistent with the provisions of the constitution. Parliament cannot convert itself into a constituent assembly. That's done. Today, the Indian Parliament can't say by a resolution that we are the constituent assembly. As a matter of law, they can't say it. Because they are now cabined, cribbed, and confined by the provisions of the Constitution. They can't pass a law which is outside the list. They can pass a law under 254. If the state passes a law, it's repugnant. They must adhere to the basic features of the Constitution. They can't suspend, except in emergencies where external aggression, the fundamental rights of people. That also is limited under provisions of the Constitution. The executive can't mothers do things which are contrary to the law, and the judiciary then declares the law. But no parliament can convert itself into a constituent assembly. And if you accept that proposition of law, it has enormous consequences for the future of my country. And that is one of the most salient and according to me, the core issues to be decided in this case. Because Parliament converted, said that we declare the legislature of the state of Jammu and Kashmir as the constituent assembly. Where does Parliament get that power? How does Parliament get that power? Under which provision of law? Not under 356. So that's, Mullahs, according to me, the core of the issue that your lordships will have to decide.